good morning it is a cozy rainy thursday morning and i'm gonna take you guys with me as i work from home today well, i talked about this a little bit in my last vlog but i work in marketing at an environmental nonprofit. so i do a lot of social media blog email campaigns all of that kind of stuff and I'm probably not gonna show you too much of like my actual work for privacy reasons, but I'll take you through like just my general work day. So this morning I had a night, I actually slept in a little bit this morning, which was really nice. And I read for a little bit, got ready, got the diffuser going, which you just saw, cause I need those good smells <laughs> during the day. And I have a couple meetings today. Well, I usually like to start the day with writing a to-do list of every every single thing that I have to do. I'm definitely a handwritten to-do list kind of person. Like I don't like doing it as much on the computer. So this is an example of one from the other day. So I'm gonna start with writing out everything I have to do. And then I'll probably check my email, peruse that see what's going on in the world. While I'm waiting for my computer to turn on, I will show you my very typical work from home setup. So I have my to-do list pad, which is a new addition and I love it. I like this because it's a good size where it doesn't make me feel bad if I only have, if I only fill it up like halfway because it's pretty small instead of like a full sheet of paper. My writing utensils, I love Muji pens. I've talked about them before and I also love Le Pen like marker felt tip pins i guess then i have my bluetooth keyboard my laptop of course my bluetooth mouse which is great because i feel like i'm getting tendonitis in my wrist not awesome always have my headphones i do not have airpods i'm old school these are my brand new blue light glasses and i think i like them i'll get your opinion on them I, they might be a little too big for my face but i think i like them and then I always have a drink of some sort, whether it's tea, chai latte, matcha, water. I always have something. I just had a meeting that I completely forgot that I had this morning. <laughs> Thank God for calendar reminders on your computer because without them, I would have completely missed that meeting. Um, anyway, so now that that is over, so I usually start work between 7.30, 8 o'clock and then I spend the first like half hour kind of planning out what I'm gonna do that day, what I wanna get done, and then also sifting through my emails that came in overnight and that meeting was at 9 so now it is 10 and I have another meeting at 11 so I'm going to try to get a few of the things for my to-do list ticked off before I have my meeting. If you've seen previous work vlogs from me then you would know that I haven't used this before. Since working from home I've been a, like obsessed with my planner which is great and it has worked so well for me but I realized that it just didn't have enough slots for things that I wanted to do like for each day. And so I would find myself like only writing down the big things that I need to do instead of like every single thing that I need to do. And I wouldn't like necessarily miss things, but it would just require more brain power for me to remember the smaller things that I need to do. So I decided to get a to-do list block that has more slots and now I can write down literally every single little thing that I need to do in a day. And it just makes me feel so much more organized because I don't have to keep things in my brain and remember to do them later. I can just write it down and it is waiting for me when I'm ready to do it. So that's been really helpful. Also, like I mentioned, these are my new blue light glasses. What do you think of them? They're cute, right? Do I have my old ones? No, I don't. So I can't compare my old ones, but they're in past videos if you wanna check them out. So I actually got these from Causebox, which is, if you haven't heard of it, it's a subscription box that, also this is not sponsored, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> um, it's a subscription box that comes once a season and it has items from various artisans and cool women that are good for the planet. And so this is from, these are from 
diff eyewear d-i-f-f and I think I like them. The only thing is that they might be a little too big for my face. I kind of have a small face. And then I don't like how reflective they are. Like when I'm in a meeting, you can perfectly see my computer screen in them. So that's kind of weird. And also if I'm sitting in front of a window, like right now, like all you can see is the window instead of just like my eyes. So they're taking some getting used to, but I really like the way they look. I like the color a lot. It's like a lighter tortoise shell. It's very pretty. So now I'm going to do my to-dos like I talked about and actually my meeting at 11 is a presentation. So I'm gonna finish preparing for the presentation. I have all the slides done. I just need to like get down what I'm actually gonna say in my head and then I'll be good to go. It's almost time for my presentation. Hello everyone. I'm gonna make a chai. Your used cup. In your used mug. It's done. There's your fucking video. Wow, it smells really good. I gotta make grape loose. We get out of here. Scram! Scram! You scram out of my kitchen. No, I gotta clean shit. Well, you're moving all the fucking. All right, everyone, it is time for my famous chai recipe. I have tried so many different iterations and versions of an iced chai latte at home, and I have found the perfect concoction, and I'm about to show it to you. So all you need is ice, cream if you want it, oat milk slash your milk of choice, chai latte concentrate from Oregon Chai, the original, not sugar-free, not decaf, not anything else, this exact one. You can get it at Target, you can get it at Market Basket, whatever grocery store, it will probably have it in the tea section. And then imitation vanilla flavor. I usually like to get um, a certain brand, I forget what it's called, but this one's actually pretty good and this one is from Target. So now let's combine everything. So you fill it halfway up with your chai concentrate. And then I put in, I just eyeball this, a little bit of cream. That was actually a lot. And then fill almost the other half up with oat milk. But leave a little space at the top. A little bit of vanilla. I mix it all up. Taste it to make sure that it's perfect. This one's actually really good. I don't think it needs anything else. Then I will usually fill the rest up with half chai, half oat milk. And if it needs extra of anything else, then I'll put it in there. And voila, you have the perfect chai latte. Yum. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Well, it is now a little after 12. It is 12.17. So I'm taking a little lunch break. And I talked about this in one of my work vlogs in the past. But I did not used to take lunch breaks. Like at the beginning of working from home. But it's actually so nice to like get away from the screen for a little bit. And just give your eyes a break. <laughs> I'm going to read for a little bit. I'm reading a really cute book right now. It is called A Sky Painted Gold by Laura Wood. And it also, like, can we just take a second to appreciate how beautiful the book cover is? I love it. And I'm like a third of the way through and it's really good so far. It's just like a cute, nice little fun read, which is great because the last book that I read was really good, but it was very heavy. It was about World War II and people in Germany during 
World War II, which was very intense. So it's nice to have like a nice light read following that. Um, what else? What else did I want to tell you about? Oh, I did my presentation. It went super well. Glad that that's over. So my schedule for the rest of the day is I have a meeting from 1 to 2. And then I have the rest of the afternoon to just get stuff done. So I usually start work between 7.30 and 8. And then end between 4 and 4.30 depending on how much of a lunch break I take and what time I start. So I'll have like a couple hours of just getting things done, which is really nice because I have a bunch of things on my to-do list that I wanted to get done before the end of the week and tomorrow's Friday. So I want to make sure that I get everything done. Now I'm just gonna take a little break, read my little book, and I'll check in with you when I'm ready to do that again. <laughs> Ryan has been in a hermit making frenzy lately and if you have never had hermits before you are missing out they're like molasses ginger brownies basically like they're the texture of brownies but they're a different flavor and they're just the best snack Wow, I really have not moved from this spot like throughout the entire course of this video. I've just been here like the whole time. So it is now 4.40 and I'm done for the day. And I did not get everything done on my to-do list, which is very sad. Um, but the two things that I didn't do, I can very easily do tomorrow. I just need to get them done before the end of the week. So I feel fine about it. It's no big deal. And right now is usually when I would go for a little walk to get myself out of the house. But it is raining. So that's not going to happen today. Which is a bummer. It's like sprinkling. I don't, I don't want to go out in it. I am about to hit 600 subscribers, which is crazy. I'm so happy it's taken me forever to go from 500 to 600 like i thought i would never get to it but i'm probably gonna hit it like within the next few days i'm at 5.99 right now so thank you guys so much for subscribing and watching my videos it makes me so happy like numbers aren't everything i make videos just because i like making videos and it's fun and it's a great creative outlet for me outside of work but it's really cool that 600 people have decided to be like yeah i want to see more of this so Thank you. It means so much to me. I know that this vlog was kind of boring, but I feel like all work vlogs are kind of boring. And that's like the beauty of them because like it's showing the realness of like working a nine to five job. So I hope that you guys liked this. I hope that maybe you got like a productivity tip from me or something or the encouragement to take lunch breaks because if you're not, then you should definitely do that if you're able to. I think that that's it for this vlog. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to comment on this video, something that you liked or like a work tip that you have. Also like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, do all of those things and I will see you guys in my next video.